it's Cece here and the weather is really starting to heat up here so I thought let's bring out something fun for summer that we can all do with our old t-shirts. So today's tutorial is going to teach you how to create one of these and it's a great option if you've got an old t-shirt that needs a little bit of new life put into it. So let me show you how it's done. <laughs> So for this project today, you're going to just need a old shirt that you don't mind cutting up. So I'm going to use this black one here today. And you're also just going to need a pair of scissors. So to start, we just need to cut some strips in this shirt. Just make sure that you're on a flat surface so you can cut these strips out nice and straight. And lay the t-shirt down nice and flat. And we need to make sure that we're cutting enough strips so that the amount is divisible by four. And that's so we can create square knots later. So I like to start at the seam of the shirt and I'm just going to cut up the side of the shirt. I'm going to cut until just underneath this image here so you can just figure out how high up you want the tassels to be and then cut up until then. So just also cutting on the other seam. And now just cutting maybe one centimeter strips all the way along the length just on one side. You don't want to cut both at the same time. I find that that can get a bit messy. So even if you just want to flick one side up and away, and then you've got the other side ready to go, then you're not going to accidentally cut both sides at the same time. Honestly, you don't have to be too fussy or make them too neat because you're not really going to notice once we knot them all together. Now, once again, I'm just going to say, make sure you're cutting them in groups of four. So I have cut 26 tassels on this side and I need to make sure that I do exactly the same on the other side and then I'm going to have a number all the way around that's divisible by four. So I'm just going to flip this over. So here is my finished cutting so I can now grab this t-shirt and hang it up and we can start knotting. All right, so now we have our t-shirt and we can use these tassels to create some square knots. So what I like to do is come to the seam and find four tassels that are either side of the seam. So I've got two from the back and two from the front. Then I'm just going to use these four tassels to create a square knot. And I'm just tying the square knot so it sits right underneath where my cuts finish. So now I'm just going to continue creating square knots around the outside of the t-shirt using four tassels for each square knot. I also forgot to mention that I do have a tutorial on how to create a square knot. So if you don't know how to create the square knot, make sure you check that video out. All right, so I finished my first row of square knots 
and I will just zoom in a little bit so you can see what they look like up close. And so now underneath this row of square knots, I'm going to create a row of alternating square knots. So you just take two tassels from one square knot and two tassels from the adjacent square knot and then create another square knot with those four. Now you want to leave a little bit of a gap here. So it should look like this. So now you just need to go around the shirt again and repeat this around the whole shirt. Now you want to try and make sure that your square knots are sitting as level as possible so the shirt stays neat. This way it's going to sit nicer on you when you're wearing it rather than it looking all wonky. All right, so I've finished my second row of square knots and essentially all you have to do now is continue using the alternating square knot pattern and fill up the rest of the length of your shirt until you have a few rows of square knots. Now, however many rows you need will depend on how long your tassels ended up. So I'll probably end up doing another two or three rows. So now I will just finish this off and then show you the finished product. Ta-da! So here you have it guys, this is my finished shirt and as you can see it's a really cute, quick and easy way to give some new life to an old shirt this summer. Now what I like to do when I first put it on is just kind of pull at the knots a little bit and then they just find their home and they sit a little bit nicer. So I really hope you've enjoyed this idea and you'll try it for yourself with one of your old shirts lying around the house. Thank you so much for watching and here's to finding our peace and creativity.